All right, this time I'm gonna teach you how to make uh, baked Italian casserole. I don't really have a recipe. I got a bunch of pasta and meats and shit. I'm gonna jarble it all up, throw it in the oven. It's gonna be pretty good. So let me show you what we got going on here and you can make it in your own home. All right, starting out, I got some different pastas because I like to mix up my pasta. Pasta's fucking pasta. I got half a case of pepperoni. Uh, it's actually really good pepperoni, so I ate the other half. Uh, I got some seasoning, and I got some mushroom sauce and some garlic onion sauce because I don't buy vegetables, so that's my vegetables. Uh, I got a pound of hamburger, a pound of Italian sausage, some mozzarella cheese, garlic bread, of course, and then you can't make Italian casserole without the largest vodka that they sell at the liquor store and also a Mountain Dew to wash it down. So a good way to start is to just, uh, you know, pour yourself two, drink those, pour yourself two more, and then also drink those. So starting out, I uh, went ahead and put some water in this pot and I turned that shit up to nine or high, I guess I don't have a nine. But anyways, I'm gonna get that water boiling. And while we wait for that, I'm gonna cook this Italian sausage first. That way I can get some sausage flavor into my hamburger because that's some good shit. So let me find a knife. All right. Um, try not to cut yourself too much. A little bit of cutting would probably just be doing yourself a favor. But, you know, you're not going to be able to cook if you're, like, bleeding profusely. So, fuck. All right, so while that's heating up, come over here. Top yourself off. Two more shots. And, uh, that's, uh, that's smoking pretty bad. I probably need to clean my oven or stove, so... I'm gonna turn this fan on, and uh, I'm sorry for the background noise, but I don't want my smoke alarm to go off. And there we have it. All right, let's do some shots, and we'll come back to that shit in a minute. All right, at this point, the water is like close enough to a boil. I don't know what exactly constitutes a boil, so I'm gonna use a half, half a box of both of these pastas. That's like a pound of pasta. Go ahead and dump that in there. No, oh, fuck it, that seems like half. Let's get this other box. Alright. This is actually the, the largest pot I own. I don't know where the big one went. I think I threw it out because it got moldy, but... I just, uh, you know, come over here, grab your, your scoopy, and you fucking you mix your pasta a little bit. I'm gonna turn that heat down to a six. While we do that, uh, go ahead and pour yourself two more shots. Cause you wanna build up a nice appetite. Nothing gets your appetite going like an empty stomach full of alcohol. So I'm gonna do those and then we'll finish stirring that meat and then we'll see what's next. All right. This, uh, the sausage doesn't look pink enough to kill me, so I guess I overcooked it. But at this point, I'm going to strain out what little bit of grease I can get out of it, and then throw on some hamburger. Also, this pasta is looking pretty close to done. I'm probably going to kill the heat and let it soak for a minute. Some people test their pasta by throwing it against the wall and seeing if it sticks. Ah, fuck, so hot. Alright, but I'm not a magician, so... I'm about to just eat a piece and see what it tastes like. Alright. Alright, that pasta definitely needs cooked a little bit more. I don't know about the little swirly ones, but the tube looking things, definitely not cooked all the way. Got my hamburger on. It's sizzling. I'm gonna give that a minute to brown, I'm gonna chop it all up and uh. In the meantime, probably do two more shots, you know, you need to keep yourself held over. You don't want to sober up while you're cooking. That's definitely a big no-no. I just want to point out that I get smeared off because it's pretty fucking cheap and it doesn't taste like gasoline. Uh, 
Especially if you mix it with Mountain Dew, that's the way to do it. Just going to give this the old flipsy whipsy here. You know how they used to fuck how they used to do it back in the olden days. That's definitely the way to cook. Alright. I'm going to stir this pasta one more time. Now, I've made my fair share of pasta and I can tell you that based on what it tasted like before and how it looks right now, it's actually done. It's done. I, I think it's done. So, I'm about to strain this and then pour it in the mixing tub. Alright, I just want to say, I own one of these uh, strainer things. Uh, coriander? I don't fucking know. Anyways, but it's dirty as fuck. So, the way I do it is you take a pot and you take a glass lid and you just leave a gap and you pour all the water out. That's how I'm about to do it. Alright, now that that is good and strained, oh fuck, it's burning the shit out of my hands. Fuck, that's hot. Alright, dump it in there and it'll sit for a minute. I'm gonna put this pot to the side. All that bullshit. I definitely forgot to stir this fucking hamburger, so I'm sure it's burned to fuck. It'll be alright though. It's just fucking chopped cow meat. It'll be straight. Like, it's not like it's a fucking cuisine. It's a fucking hamburger. So I'm about to just give that some more chopping motion. Maybe a little flip, flipsy here. Get some of that pink. Maybe turn it brown or black or whatever color it happens to be because I fucking forgot about it. And uh, while we let that mush cook, let's uh, fucking. I already went ahead and poured myself two more shots. And we'll take care of those right quick sees. So I had got these seasonings out because I had planned to season my meat, but <laughs> I fucking forgot about that shit. So I'm going to go ahead and open both these right quick. I throw them in my hamburger before it's done cooking. I just like to use this onion powder and I got garlic salt over there. Just give it a couple psh, 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 psh. Oh yeah, that's fucking great. Let me get some of this. And that'll cook into the meat. It'll be delicious. Cool. So I'm standing here doing my shots, right? And I realize that the fucking packaging is like a wheel of cheese, but it's shredded. It's fucking art, right? You know, the wheel of cheese, but it's not a wheel of cheese, but it looks like a wheel of cheese. Cool. The hamburger is cooked enough for me. I'm about to strain it. It smells good as fuck, but I'm about to strain it with the old lid method and then add it to my tub of shit and uh, and then add sauce so that's that's your next step all right so now now would probably be a pretty good time to preheat your oven um 400 is an acceptable uh, acceptable baking temperature i'm gonna jack that shit up to 420 because if you're not cooking at 420 you're not doing it right right so we'll do that we'll come over here we'll dump in this sauce Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. And then uh, some of this sauce over here. There we go. And you just want to mix that shit up nice and good. Mix it up so that you can't tell what is what. Come over here with some of this and just fucking get to mixing. Oh, fuck. All right. I'm going to put this camera down <laughs> so I can use both hands. But mix that shit up good. All right, that shit's looking pretty mixed to me. I'm about to add a little bit more seasoning. That is a, f a fuck ton of seasoning. Oh, this, there you go. Mix that shit in too. That'll make it have more flavor. All right, so after you got it good and mixed, I'm not entirely sure this will all fit in the casserole dish, but you know, just fucking dump it in your casserole dish. There we go. Oh fuck, that is so much, all right. So level that shit out, there you go, and then next, move this shit out the way, move, get down, alright, don't get cats because they just be up in your shit all the time. What I've done here is I dumped all that shit in and then I just fucking covered it in pepperoni, so after you get it good and covered in some dank ass pepperoni, you just want to like add shit tons of cheese like as much cheese as you got just layer the entire top of it just i'm just gonna keep adding cheese 
So I'm either A, out of cheese, or B, I have enough cheese. I used mozzarella because uh, it seemed really Italian, and that was the theme, Italian. Fuck. Alright, so, there we go. <laughs> Some cheese. As a side note, this cheese is so moist. It feels so moist. Look at that. That's some fucking, that's some fucking cheese, am I right? Now, once you've added that much cheese, um, add more pepperoni. All right, well, I uh, I tried to cover it in another layer of cheese after I put the pepperoni, but I ran out of cheese, so do what you fucking can. And then at this point, my oven is ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this bad boy. Fuck that is one hot oven. I'm gonna throw this bad boy into the oven. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh, oh shit, all right. Throw that in the oven for uh, you want to do that for 20 minutes. So I'm going to set this timer. And we're basically, everything's already cooked, so we're just going to brown the cheese. So I put that in for 20 minutes, and in the free time, you should definitely go play some Halo 5 or whatever you own, because you're really poor and you don't want to buy new games. You know, waiting for 20 minutes for your food to cook is a really long time, so you should probably pour yourself two to four more shots um, depending on how far your divorce is coming along so I'm gonna go ahead and do these and then you know come back and check on that in 20 minutes alright so apparently there's a new fucking breakout we're gonna check that shit out and uh, see if it's okay or if it sucks dick hopefully it's okay I'm hoping it's okay game over Defeat. All right, after you. Oh fuck! All right, so after your 12 plus shot, you may be a little too drunk to play a precision shooting game, but it's it's okay. It's all right. All right, so our first alarm's going off. So I forgot that I was supposed to cover that, but it still turned out all right. That's looking pretty fucking done. So. I'm about to scoop out a couple servings and uh, I'll tell you how it is. <laughs> On another note, we were supposed to make garlic bread, so I'm about to make the garlic bread right quick. That shit's hot as fuck. It's not like it's gonna get cold in a minute. So we're gonna make some garlic bread and we're gonna, you know, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be good. All right, for starters, I covered my pan in aluminum foil because it has enough rust on it to kill someone with tetanus. However, I've already had my tetanus shot in the past seven years. So, you know, it's just better to cover up with some aluminum foil. I'm going to throw pe three pieces of garlic on there because I'm fat and I, that's approximately how much garlic bread I need in my life. And it cooks at the same temperature as the casserole. So if you were smart, you would have threw the garlic bread in for six minutes at the end of your casserole cook time. But I'm about to throw it in for another six minutes. We'll get that casserole some time to think about what it's done, you know, give it a little time out. That's fucking, that's one hot oven. All right, six minutes. Well, that's going. Your best bet is to just pour yourself two more shots because you played Halo for 20 minutes and, you know, it's just unacceptable. This meal will feed like 12 to 16 people. You should probably take it to a wedding reception. I'm going to eat as much as I can tonight, and you should probably watch some Trailer Park Boys, because this shit is just good, no matter what. All right. This shit is <laughs> good as fuck. I did all right. That's how you do it, boys. So I gave myself enough to feed a small African village, but you're probably going to want to give yourself a little bit more, because... Let's be honest, that's all you got going for you is fucking Italian casserole. Bring them over here, 
Once you've ate, your, ate enough that you hate yourself a little bit more than normal, you're good. Just, you know, you want to take two more shots for digestion, and then, you know, it's a good night. It's an alright night.